Game and Fish is putting out a statewide alert. They say they're at a crisis point when it comes to Sonoran Desert tortoises. So they're hoping you can help take action and possibly reach out to them to adopt one. News for Two Sons Isabella Fredrickson joining us now live on the west side with what you need to know. Isabella. Shello, Sean and Monica. Now officials tell me they've taken in more than they could handle and now they need new homes for all these tortoises. I spoke to one Tucson woman who stepped up and she now awaits her new slow four-legged friend with a shell. Meet Cheryl Galen. She recently applied to adopt a desert tortoise. She first found out about the call to adoption when she was watching a pretty cool local TV station. On your TV station, yes. When I saw on TV that they were wanting people to adopt desert tortoises, that's what I decided to do. Cheryl's love for the slow and steady isn't new. She's been a lover of those with shells her whole life. When I lived in New Hampshire for 20-some years, I had box turtles. One of the requirements was to create a burrow and submit a photo. Cheryl built the burrow all by herself. She gave me a tour of the burrow and told me she had a shell of a time creating it. Arizona Fish and Game, they're really wonderful at sending you brochures at um, YouTubes. So why is there a statewide call to adopt Sonoran Desert tortoises? I spoke to Locana de Souza, the urban wildlife specialist at Arizona Game and Fish Tucson. She explains that they are at a crisis because of people breeding these tortoises, which is illegal. We're essentially at a crisis point. We have so many desert tortoises, captive desert tortoises, that we are trying to find homes for. Cheryl is celebrating because she was recently approved. While she hasn't received her tortoise yet, because most tortoises are still hibernating, she is already the perfect tortoise mom. Well, I decided to name my turtle Touche Turtle. His enclosure has gotten to be kind of extravagant, so we have named it a bungalow. So I've ordered a sign and it's going to say Touche Turtles Bungalow. As Cheryl excitedly anticipates the arrival of her tortoise, she encourages others to apply to adopt a tortoise too. Well, I wish other people would do it. There are turtles that need places to be. One thing is for certain, Touche Turtle will have a shell of a time. Now, if you're interested in adopting, don't worry, you won't need to shell out any money because the application to adopt is free. Reporting live from the West Side, Isabella Fredrickson, News 4, Tucson.